so I just got back. I just finished getting a bike basket, and then I think South, in South Austin, Copenhagen, I saw a sign calling it like Amsterdam and Copenhagen, but here's the basket. Um, the lady was very nice, very friendly, and uh, it's a nice basket, good size. And it has these quick release things, um, they didn't have exact change, and you know, no Danes have change, so. I went and got some oats and change, and then uh, she found a screwdriver to adjust it to fit the rack here. But you just pull up on these and it comes up. Um, yeah, good time. I'm getting a little money though. I only have like 100 bucks left. But um, yeah, very nice area. Fun ride. Went out in the countryside a little bit. I don't know if it's the countryside, but it was less developed. Some fields, and um, it was off on Western Ama. Um, yeah. So, good time. Now to get more things, dishes, and whatnot. There's the sign over there. Calling it Amsterdam. But very pretty. Alright, we have, we're making smapple today. I got a loaf of bread from the bakery. I'm using the, uh, the one from Too Good To Go. And we're gonna make some smapple today, which is Danish open face sandwiches. Um, starts with opal. Rye bread, Danish rye bread. Um, we're gonna make it with leopastai, which is, this is Swedish, but whatever. Um, liver pate, in this case, vegan. Um, never had it, we'll see how it goes. Um, doesn't that sound the most appealing? Like, especially looking at this. I don't know what it normally looks like, but I mean, like, meat spread? Ew. Um, it seems like it can be pretty flexible with what you put in it. I have a cucumber I want to do. I think I saw that. Uh, I'll do some mustard. This is like mostly horseradish though. Um, and then I see like beets, maybe red onion. I have red onion. That would be good. Um, I was thinking about tomato. We'll see how big it gets. I don't want to make it too crazy. I have a tendency to do that. So we'll start with the liver pate, and then probably the cucumber, and then red onion. Maybe I won't do tomato then. I know somebody talked about tomato and cheese for one. I have some vegan cheese. I'll probably leave that off. I'll probably just do those three. Keep it simple. Alright, I forget if I showed off the final product, but here it is. Let me actually add some pepper. I think that'll be nice. Um... Okay, here we are. Pepper added. Um, I realize it's going to be kind of spicy because the mustard is spicy and there's a bunch of red onion. Um, I had more, but I decided to save the rest because it would be way too much otherwise. Um, Alright, let's try it. Not as spicy as I expected. Cucumber's nice. Liver pad tastes not super strong. I think I can detect it. Um, a little... Smoky, umami. I need to try it separately. I don't know how to describe it. I just tried it separately. It's like a little meaty, as you would expect. Um, like I've never had liver or liver pate or anything like that, so I can't comment on what it would actually taste like, how similar. Um, it's fine. I would be perfectly happy with just like hummus or something, so I'll probably go more vegan next time. Um, that's what it's like being a Dane, I guess. I don't know. It's fine. Alright, so right after that lunch, uh, the same day, I went with a friend to this museum, uh, the Museum of Copenhagen. Saw some cool exhibits about the city and about 
the actual building here too. That was pretty cool. All right, so first up, we've got some models of Orlhusplassen, which is the town hall. Um, pretty cool. You know me, love some models. Here are some images of older life in Copenhagen. Um, just some various artifacts. I forget exactly the details, but demonstrate different parts of it. Bikes, of course. That one's a wooden bike, actually, I think. An early one. Here are some more models. These are, I think, like idealized houses. I'm not sure. The building used to be for like some housing government body. I think that was related to what they used to do. They would like take cases and like help people move. I think those were some ideas of how people would live. Now, here again, some more models. You're sensing a theme. It's the things I tended to take pictures of most. This is really cool. Uh, it was the last room that we were in, and they had this big model of the city in the middle. And you had buttons where you could light up and see where different places are in the city. Some notable landmarks. Uh, it was pretty big. Maybe like 15 meters. Not meters, 15 feet. What is that? Five, three, five meters. Something like that long. It's an ellipse. And then on the wall they had like this kind of panoramic shot of protruding metal or something like that. I don't know. It's It wasn't like a picture, but it was that sort of idea, like the skyline projected out, and then they had some statistics on this electronic huge wall thing that kind of curved around, and I didn't get pictures of these, but that would show you like statistics or something, and like you know, about the Danes. It was pretty cool. It was a cool last room, a good summer easy to digest one. Good a museum overall, and uh, it was free that day, which is even better, but would recommend. I could spend a little more time there. I, it seems like I always spend longer than my friends want to do, but you know. I think that's it. Wait.